Can you imagine us growing up with the internet? Exactly. Like, boy. I think half of us would have lived. Boy, I think we could have committed suicide. Like, we would have been been embarrassed. I I can name about five embarrassing things that happened to me in Mm -hmm. my life here in Clarksville, Tennessee. But they were all learning lessons. Mm -hmm. We got to understand, like, what we put out this time is what we put out. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a standard. You know what I mean? That's that. But that goes into, like, Diddy. That goes into everything that we're talking about. Bill Cosby. I hate that Bill Cosby was torn down because you're looking at a little girl that my mama has always been a power mama. Like, I mean, um, until my grandma moved back here to Clarksville and she had the proper help. Right, right. We were at home. Yeah, I would, I would do the same thing. Yeah, we were it's at home. like we lived the same Yeah, life. yeah, we were at home. So the only things that we had to watch that looked like us was the Cosby show. You understand what I'm two, saying? Two, seven. Two, two, seven. I wanted, listen... I wanted to be on a different world so bad. I couldn't wait for that HBCU. Oui. Man. And then I went to the Army. I had kids in high school and I went to the Army. But you know what I did? I made sure my kids got that opportunity. Mm-hmm. Not just because it was my dream. It was something that I instilled in them. It don't matter how hard my life got. I made sure I wanted them to, if that's what they wanted to do. You understand what I'm saying? Like, we can talk about this for hours. You know, I got one that is brilliant like you know we put him in the engineering program at AM. he's paid for it. he won't be a tattoo artist you get what i'm saying and i don't feel like a but failure that's not a failure when it's not a failure it. because these kids these kids know what they love and they know what they want to do so now listen miss keisha everything you've said was dope as fuck uh i think that the best part was that you get me in line and you get me together with different perspective and that's the thing i can respect the most about you is that you're not just gonna let no man come in here and mansplain without you saying hold on now there's another way so i appreciate that uh we're gonna move on into the next segment and i want to talk about the successes of life and and how you view things because i view you as a successful woman but i want to ask do you feel accomplished and successful in life at this point Mm, I feel success. The success lies in my children. So I feel very success. You know, shout out to Zaria Ann, Keith, Zoe, Chad, and Bailey. All of them. All of them. That's, that's, the, that's the only success. Shout out to the children. That's the only success I have right now. Um, and the second would be. So nothing you've done business wise, you don't think no. you. Are accomplished. No. After yep. all that work. No. I live, breathe, sacrifice for my kids. And I got that from my mother. And that was easy work for you, the business part. The business, I, listen, I'm very, very well versed in entrepreneurship. I don't hold on to anything. Because what you think, 50 million other people can think, right? So the best way to do it is, is to get it, get what you can out of it and start something else. Everything can be sold. Everything is for sale. So if you live like that, you'll understand. Can't nobody take nothing away from you. Can't nobody take away from me my vision. You know, people call me, people call me um, all over the place. They call me, you know, I'm unconventional, I'm untraditional. Uh, you know, I, I do things and I stop doing them. I test the market. I test the market prematurely. And if I feel like it's not funding me or it's going to be abundant or it's not going to be a blessing because in business, your business has have, has to be a business and not a busy mess. And that's what a lot of people don't understand about entrepreneurship. hundred percent. I don't they care. They also don't believe in the. The ups and downs of they it. don't. They because ready. Because it's so sporadic. And they're ready so to consistent. fall out. They're ready to to start something different. They're ready to. Trucking came natural for me because that's what I had to deal with. It's very different, you know. And I know about. I'm. I'm. Thank God, I have that tool. But it's time for something else. It's it's time for me to do something. That that I'm gonna love. I raise these kids. They're I'm always I'm finna, I'm getting ready to be an empty nester. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? 
So, I mean, I have to understand, I have to pick things out that's gonna make me happy. I went back to the dental office um, just for that morale, you know. Of course I needed money, oh my gosh. I'm, a, I'm bad cash. with money. But Why are you so bad with money? Because I, I don't have Not money. that you get, I guess you gotta be a go-getter if you like to spend. Another thing is, I desire a man that takes the lead. And when I mean the lead, I mean financially. I want I want my man to take my phone when he wants to. I want him to I want us to be on the same account. Give me your phone. I want <laughs> I want that. That's top tier. You feel me? Like that is what I want. I have some things to iron out. You know, but I'm worth it. I value myself. I know I'm chatty. I know I'm all over the place. Are you really though? I am. You, you're actually not if you can multitask in a productive way. In a productive way. See, I'm struggling right now because I'm not, I have no entrepreneurships under my belt. This is the first time I just have this job. Right. So me going back to the work field is depressing. You know what I mean? Oh, but me. but it's just God because I've reconnected with God. I've reconnected with some amazing people. You know what I'm saying? I I'm I, I'm You staying busy. You I'm move. staying busy. Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. me? Like I mean <laughs> I'm never but right now. Since we're on success, what would be a success for me is to control my emotions, to take my healed self for a healed. You you, you get what I'm saying? Like to control my emotions in a relationship, in my uh, in my co-parenting ship and um, my children, you know, because I've been I'm serious. Like for the past two years, I've been cold to my children. That's because I wasn't affectionate. You know, like, I didn't... Those kids need... What is that? Aff affection. What is that about you? I, I don't know. Like, I... No, I'm saying, how can you get so close to a man, be affectionate, but then everything else, you want to push it out. Like, hey, I need my me time. I need my... You know, I don't want to do all that lovey-dovey. How does... You know what? Do you do that to you know what, Jermaine? In, in I relationships just... In relationships? In relationships? Okay. I'm saying in the past, were you just not that affectionate? Is that always been a thing for a long time? I'm going to say something that's personal. Well, no. I, I want to. I want to because it means something. Out of a marriage, my marriage, I owe him a great amount of respect. An apology. Let me take that back. Not respect. Apology. Because I wasn't affectionate. Well, I think that respect is apologizing. So you get what I'm saying? Is. So I get it. I'm I'm holding accountability mm. for that. Mm. You know what I mean? Like for for that. I, I wasn't affectionate. You can't you can't nurture and I'm learning this, y'all. Stick with me. You can't We We can't nurture. We can't expect it to we can't expect to be nurtured if we can't nurture, you know, the man that we're trying to love. You understand what I'm saying? Like, we can't. I'm learning. I'm learning space. I'm learning men need to digest. I'm learning, like, if they're not ready to talk, they're not ready to talk. I'm learning patience. Like, it's not that, that, that. I'm also learning to roar just in my feminine energy. Like, I don't need to bring anything masculine to the table. If that man wants to help me, I should... I should receive it. Shit, me. Sometimes I want you to grab me by my shoulders, walk up behind me if it's me, but and say, "Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> you are more than a conqueror. You really not." Oh no, no. I want to. I want to. For me, that's the masculine, but, big time, big ass energy. But I can't. But I. But you can. You can be that. So overly excessive is what you're speaking. Exactly. You can be extreme. that. I want to be supportive to my man. Yeah. Like that, that, that. Yeah, we need you to be tough as fuck. I don't yes. want no punk ass woman, is what I'm saying. And I hate when people be like, all right, Keisha, love yourself first. I love the hell out of me. I love me so much. I put my, the, the, the greatest joy is putting my kids on. 
but I have a really good male role model friend. He was my, he's like, he's my old star major. Shout out to him. He told me one, he told me, honestly, he was like, hey, you know, what you gonna do when your kids are all gone? Because you're a different person. You're not a mother. You're still a mother, but you're not a mother mode. Like you got to think about what you're, what are you going to do now? Successfully, I have learned dating, right? It's kind of a tornado because although I have these grown children, right? Bailey's 15. Let's realistically, let's think she's going to be out the house, right? I meet guys that still have children. You know, um, young children, young children. And that's OK with me. Like a, a lot of women wouldn't take on the role or the responsibility. They'd be like, oh, I just. But that's OK with me. Man, I ain't dating nobody with no little big kids. But listen, I feel like I feel like, number one, my my main the thing that I'm good at is nurturing children they don't necessarily have to be mine i'm the best tt I, i'm the best you know so i was gonna I, say you can't nurture other things i can nurture other things i mean but sure you talking to a woman who wants another child oh you want some more yes uh, just one more one more that's it right so you're talking to a woman that you know what i mean so that isn't an issue for me and that i mean it, it never really was you know but being successful. So if a nigga want two more, you in. If he's the right one. No, I'm saying you are open to the idea of two more. Listen. Oh, I'm, I'm just asking that one question. Yes. And I'm going to tell you why. When you are handled correctly, healed correctly, loved correctly, and understood, you're going to do any and everything for your man. All implied. That's the reason I didn't get a, a, a vasectomy. Right. Because the one vow I had is to actually get married this time. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. But then if she's, if she, if I'm promising to give you quote unquote the world. Right. But I'm telling you no more kids. That's off the table. Mm -hmm. Am I really giving you the world if I'm shutting down your dreams in the beginning? I've had men. You know I've, I've went on dates where men were like, uh, I want to travel the world. I don't want no more kids. However, mm -hmm. baby, I'm compromising with the woman I'm in love. Exactly. With. It's a compromise. Another thing, if you're not, I just recently figured out that even though I'm self-proclaimed healed, I got to emotionally, sometimes it's some things, it's some things I'm not ready for emotionally and that's okay like i got so caught up and almost a little bit still in horoscopes but when i went back to church you understand what i'm saying you know the you know prayer covenant they tell you you know god god's gonna provide you understand what i'm saying any a jealous god and he's a very jealous guy nothing else but him and is that so different in our monogamous relationships here on Earth? Not really. Where you're asking a man to literally come in here, serve this household, and be faithful and committed to me. And the moment he engages another woman, don't you feel betrayed? So I don't think God is asking for too much when he's already told us, if you can be monogamous with me mm -hmm. it'd be so simple for you to be monogamous in your relationship amen but <laughs> amen preach preach but, preach. but that's just but, my point of view it's in you it's in you pastor Thanks, it is but look <laughs> this is what i'm saying though like for example i used to think that men cheat i used to think all that men? hold on no, not I'm in asking, a negative no, way. No, I'm, all, I'm, I'm asking. Right, all men. men. Okay. Not in a negative way. You understand what I'm saying? I used to be comfortable with thinking, listen, hear me out, that men sometimes need something different. 
sounds very ignorant, right? It sounds very ignorant, right? No, I like something different. But but hold on. Until you you meet or until I dated somebody with values and respect to say, hey, they don't work both ways. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that's not how it's supposed to go. You understand what I'm saying? An emotionally available man is going to make sure that you're straight. And I'm still struggling with that. Like, why you didn't call me when you made it home? I've never called nobody when I made it home. I just holler at you when I holler at you. You yeah, you, yeah, you got to get. You got to. You, but it's not that easy. It's, it's not going to happen. I'm not saying that you're not capable of it. What I'm saying is you've been conditioned to think that way for another climate. Mm -hmm. It's like coming. It's like wearing your June clothes in the winter. But it, it, it goes. You exist. Right. But, you but, fit. but it goes in your head as being disobedient or not appreciating you know, a man. Yeah, we agree. Yeah, like agree. I'm just saying. I, I listen. I read all the time now, and I know we're on success, and we're about to wrap this up. No, no, no. But Talk. being successful for me is being in a successful relationship. I'm not saying marriage, but being successful for me. Why not saying marriage? I, I mean, it's going to lead into marriage. I'm saying that's the highest degree of accomplishment. It is. Why not shoot for it? And then me. That's just my level of success, right? Like um, being a team, like having a best friend. I have a female best friend, right? But it's not like my man. You feel me? It's, never be a man. It, it should never be my man. It's not like my man, best friend. It's not like it's not it's not like me calling him and saying da 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 da. You know, I had and, this day in that deep voice. He just said, "Baby, you gonna be all right." Right, like, and then and then too, I'm understanding that it's things you gotta talk about. Like, let's talk about long distance. Let's talk about, I have, I, I'm learning I can't be long distance. Not because I'm clingy. What's long distance to you? Long distance, like not in the same area. When you learn that. <laughs> <laughs> I learned it. Stop when, right there. Hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. Stop I right there. Okay. Stop right there. Okay. So, I don't want to drag this out. Okay. I want the people to continue to be entertained and enjoy the conversation. You've been dope this whole time. I think it was. I think it was good. But you're right, though. Uh, how important are uncomfortable conversations with your partner today <sighs> in this time frame? So start with, oh shit. I'm a runner. I'm a track star. <laughs> I'm Shakara. I'm gone. I'm out of there. No. I might be Flojo. I'm out of there. Let me tell you something. I am so uncomfortable with the stuff I do wrong. I'm working on it. I'm working on Wait it. Wait a minute. Are you telling me today you're that? Today. Right now. As we're speaking. Hello. What yeah. time is it? Damn. Like, I, but that's me. And I. I ain't mad at it. I, I, it's, it is the what it is. The best part is that you acknowledge it. Right. Like. Yeah. I have a So if a man was to meet you today at the gas station, you love his conversation on the approach and ask for the number and he just randomly say, Do you run from your problems, baby? Can we communicate? What are you are you gonna start? You gave me the wrong scenario. Are you gonna see okay, any place that you desire it to be. So You think you know me, that's the problem. No. No. I'm no, saying regular no. shit for me because I meet people everywhere. The what I'm saying. The what, environment don't have to dictate how good a woman can be. Hold on. For me. Hold on, hold on. I know for y'all, y'all say, the viewers, gas I'm station not, niggas, I ain't doing I'm that. I'm not saying that because you can meet people everywhere. Okay? Gas stations, whatever. What I was referring to Jermaine is in this time of day or this hour, this moment, would I be prone to that conversation so early? And the question is no. The reason why the question is no, and I would not uh, give the him that. No. The answer is no. Excuse mm -hmm. me. It's because I have a little. I have a little. When I say I have a little class about myself, a lot. Actually. I just. I just. 
don't put myself in conversations like that because what you say now, like the police say, can be held and used against you because he could not be my Boaz at that time. I need to get to know him. Now, when he asked me, the first question he says is, hey, do you run from uncomfortable, uncomfortable situations? Who sent you? Jesus. That's what I, you know, I, I, it, it's different. Because that's how I'm going to answer. <laughs> It's different I'm, things. But I ask off the wall questions on purpose. But because the women that are not open to conversation don't like uncomfortable questions up front. Such as if you ask me, nigga, are you broke? Right. The first time you meet me, I'm comfortably going to tell you I'm not as rich as I want to be. <laughs> but I'm doing okay. Right? And that's right. not a stupid answer, and I didn't run from the question. Right? I think the I'm going places. I'm just not. I ain't got my check yet. So I can answer in a plethora of ways. My thing is, I like to throw a woman off because what do y'all complain about the most? It's, it's money. Everybody say the same thing. Right. Bye, 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 bye. Hey, gorgeous. Good morning. No. What you doing? Y'all don't like that until you like somebody. But on the approach, mm. it's boring. You're wrong. You're wrong. Why You're wrong, 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 wrong. Give me wrong. Give me wrong. I have a lot of respect for a man that is consistent. Women want consistency. And, and some and you're right in an instance because sometimes uh good morning baby from a guy you're not interested in sucks but so that's the difference that's the difference, the difference you understand is. what i'm saying so if i met this guy at the gas station and he's asking me these questions these not just one that one question that deep rooted question i have questions about that because what i say now it is going to be if this relationship furthers then that's what it's going to be. I thought maybe coming from you, a question like, okay, I meet this man at the gas station and we smashing that night. Mm -mm. He He's more, he he can get that answer out of me because so you I let that. It would take more to. Exactly. I if I felt like I could give him some of, of my energy, mm. i.e. sex, mm. then he's, you, you better ask him that question. You gotta go that far to sex. I, I think a deep. No, I, I, but I think sex. I think just kicking back that night for four, five hours. True. Could true. True. But render that answer. Let's be real. Yeah, we, we being real. I'm saying it don't got a result to you giving him your body. I'm saying. <laughs> hold on. That's a prized possession. Eh? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I didn't say that. I said I will be more prone. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. If. My apologies. That you, you know, what I'm say saying that. I'm not. I'm not just giving out. Street. I ain't no, street no, booty. No, 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 no. I ain't say that. Okay. I'm saying, but you absolutely did say more prone. More prone than, than asking that question. That's important. Now, I y'all be killing me with these fake inspirational conversations just to get the panties. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Like men, men still do it. Give me one one example. Um, well, you wanna go to this poetry bar? No, and dang well you don't want poetry. You don't you don't listen. Men do it. Men do it. Men act Keisha. fake interested in Keisha. things that you wanna do. Keisha. Yes, they do. Keisha. I can marry you and not want to go to the movies. I'm not saying but that. That doesn't discount me You're... wanting to make you happy tonight. That's true. But it's the same thing in the dating phase. All I'm saying we is we all do things we don't want to do to I don't, make our significant other I don't, happy. That's cap. That's not cap. I never get to do a podcast without calling cap. Cap. That's Tim not Morgan. Cap. Let me tell you how I know it's cap. Why you know it's cap? He said, "What's a bad date you've been on? Just tell me a describe a bad date." Oh my God, this man showed up in house shoes. You stayed, why? Huh? You had sex with him after? No. You left him? Yes, at the place. No. I'm talking about a bad day in a relationship. A bad, like so somebody I ain't I talking was... about first day, never fuck with him again. Give me a bad day in a relationship. And you ain't got to talk about time, place, none of that. Just abstract. A bad day. Y'all gonna think I'm lying. No, I ain't gonna think you lying. This is a bad had... date for you. It's a bad date. What happened to make it a bad date is what I'm asking. Not the entire scenario. 
I'm what made it a bad date? And you was just like, I ain't feeling this shit. I don't like it. I went on a date one time where we were chilling and kicking it. And then somebody came to the door and he was like, I'm chilling with my cousin. That's just total disrespect. <laughs> like, you on. And you stayed in the relationship? No! I just said. Oh, no, no, hold on. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. So you stayed? Because I was, hold on, now hold stop. on, wait a minute. Now stop. You stayed? Yes. Here's my thing. We all do shit we don't want to do. Okay. With people. Valid. So I'm saying Valid. Because we all make sacrifices in relationships. Men don't always want to do that little cute shit you planned. Right. We don't always want to go to that little nice ass spot you thought was nice. We ain't interested right. like that. Right. The truth ain't always supposed to be revealed. What I like is that you got dressed for me. Is so that? I'm finna get dressed for you. I like that. You're and right. I'm finna spend time with you because this quality time means more than this place. Right. And this person is who I'm building with. See what I'm saying? I, I appreciate the so redirection because you're right. Fuck. You're right. Fuck where you dragged me to. I want Keisha to love me long time. Right. See what I'm saying? Right. So if Keisha said this little uh, vineyard with this wine and this cheese, and I'm like, cheese? I want some pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Take me to David Buster right now. It, you see what I'm saying? My mind could be short right. circuiting on my instant gratification. Whole time longevity is more important, so we make the better decision of, baby, want to go here? I'm finna make that happen, and so she can post these pictures on her Instagram. She can show her girls in the group chat. Look what baby took me, and I'm finna put on this tuxedo jacket, and I'm finna make her feel good. I mean, but we because do, we at do the it. end of the night, I want instant gratification too. <laughs> right? I get it, but that's I mean, why I'm saying we do things. Are women, you women do things. A lot of things to accommodate us. Accommodate me. <laughs> yes. You even tell us we great in the bed when we know we want shit. Y'all lie to us. Come on, fellas out there. Come on, man. Y'all know we weren't doing it. We weren't putting in the work. <laughs> Y'all know we didn't put in no work. I'm about to put on my glasses. No, no, no. No, damn all that. <laughs>